Okay, this is the biggest mistake that I see sellers making on Amazon every single time when people come to me and I see people posting in groups, this is it, okay? Do you have the resources to compete in this market, okay? And now I just wanna break this down at a more a theoretical level and a fundamental level, okay? So I guess more at a fundamental level, do you have the amount of cash flow do you have enough cash to buy units to be selling as much as the people on the first page? That's it. Okay. Uh, for several months, because you're going to have to stock not only a one month's uh, product, you're going to have to stock while it's shipping and lead time for your manufacturer. You need to be able to ship and, and hold on hand about two and a half, three months of inventory. So whatever they're doing at the warehouse or whatever, the first page on Amazon, like basically wherever you want to be, you, you have to sell that much units. Is that it? Like, okay. So you have to have that, you have to have that many units. So I've seen people do this before they go to like dog pet glove. Oh, so many people were like thinking this was a great product. And I saw, I was like, no, 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 no. Okay. Now we take a look at these and let's just do the revenue here quick. I don't think this is the right keyword, but like some of these are doing massive numbers, okay? Like that one's 257,000 and whatnot. Um, let's say 40. Let's, so let's say you're trying to be one of these top guys, okay? And you wanna be $41,000 a month. Well, let's say inventory is uh, what? Because it's an $8 product. Inventory is probably dollar, you know, $2 a piece or something. So that's gonna cost you two like 10 grand, you're gonna have to have like float 20 grand or more and, and you're gonna have to do a, so many giveaways. So not only are you gonna have to actually have that money, okay, that's one, just can you get the inventory? Two, you're gonna have to do massive giveaways here because look at, uh, look at the competition. They've got a lot of reviews, not just the reviews and do you have enough money to get there, but why, why would people buy yours over the other ones? Okay, that's what it comes down to at a certain point. And if you can't answer that like that, um, it's gonna be really hard. Like this guy's doing it smart by going with the premium product and then showing that with the fur, like, oh, look at how good this is. Um, but so, so many people don't literally think about that. So if you go to the search page, would you personally choose your product? And if you could do that, then you're good. That's great. And if it's at the right price point, you always want to be that high pr premium price point because that'll make your margins better. But some people are just going into things that are way too competitive and you need to match the exact amount of sales of the people that are up there. They just don't think that through. And then this, like I ask them, well, how are you going to get up there? Well, they were, it, the other guy was selling good with his pet gloves. So I did it like, no, that's like, that doesn't work like that. Why would Amazon show you his unproven pet gloves with very few reviews that aren't any different over that? So, so sorry if that sounds negative, but you've just got to logically think about these uh, markets. So you could differentiate and um, you know serve a part, part of the market, uh, but like some of these are just too competitive to go into if you don't have the money to do these giveaways because that's, as it gets higher and higher and higher, some markets, like everybody has to do giveaways and cheat just to stay ranking because what's well, not cheating. Uh, it's technically against term of service. In my opinion, uh, I don't do launch services, do what you want though, but you're going to, or you you have to be doing Facebook giveaways and whatnot. So people don't think about it from that perspective enough. In my opinion, literally just, if you can answer the question of why would people buy mine over the others? How can I add value? And you, um, like, I guess the other thing I didn't look at is, you know, so obviously number of reviews, uh, that, cause that'll be a huge barrier to entry. If they have so many other reviews and you're not different, you're the same price, but then, you know, if they don't have good listings, okay, you could come in and improve, make a better marketing pitch, but 
um, if, it, if it's all done well and it's all well selling and if the margins are low, like just, just know and be able to answer the question, this is how I can compete and this is why people would buy mine over the others and then it'll work. Uh, but if you can't, then uh, maybe pass, go to the next one. I just want to show you one example of where I didn't have the resources to compete. I still don't know if I do. I could put it in, but essentially there's these Arduino quits, kits. So they're people that are just learning how to solder and build electronics. And there's some people doing massive uh, numbers, 206,000 a month and whatnot. They don't have too many reviews. And I could definitely have come in and differentiate here because uh, they're all just bundles of different kits and it's all about making the best kit for the right market. And I don't think it's marketed the best, but uh, I don't have the supply chain ability that some of the people do in Shenzhen. They all know their the manufacturers or they are their own. And then creating these electronic guides and kits um, is just be a large undertaking. And some of these, they specialize, they have a whole en electrical engineering department showing all these different kits that you can make and they have pre-made programs for you. Yeah, like, I mean, this is a very good brand and they're killing it if you just look at it. Come Q4, um, I mean, they might do a million dollar a month just on one product because you know, teaching your kids how to learn STEM these days is huge. So, I mean, I just can't scale like they can. Look at all these lessons that they're making. So yeah, this is uh, somewhere where I still couldn't compete.